Get your flu shot. All the health experts ramming that message home since early fall. And even now they're doing it, even though the vaccine is effective only about 30 percent of the time. Health officials explains why health officials are worried with the flood of new flu cases, especially here in New York. And it is now bordering on a crisis. I would just reporter Sandra Bookman live at Maimonides Hospital in Borough Park, Brooklyn with the story. Sandra. Yeah, doctors we talk with here today, Bill, say yes, this is a severe flu season. What we are seeing here in New York City is essentially mirroring what we're seeing around the rest of the country. However, hospitals are having to make some adjustments uh, when it comes to the number of flu cases they're seeing coming into emergency rooms. In the midst of the worst flu season in years, surgical masks have become part of the daily uniform for staff at Lenox Hill Hospital and at Northwell Health's 21 other hospitals in the New York City area. During this severe flu season, I think it's, it's both common sense as well as a high recommendation from the leading experts in infectious disease. In fact, from the minute you walk into Lenox Hill, visitors and staff alike are reminded of the simple ways to stop the spread of the flu virus, like continually washing your hands. And starting today, hospital visitors under 14 are being banned from entering some units. Children who may be more um, prone to developing influenza throughout their school systems, we generally restrict them from visiting high-risk patient populations such as uh, the neonatal unit, the pediatric ICU, um, as well as the newborn maternity wards. At Maimonides Medical Center in Borough Park, where doctors say the number of flu cases in January is up 25 percent over December, they've had to add 60 additional patient beds. We're using really every available space in the emergency department and the hospital uh, for, because we're also admitting more patients than we have been previously. Dr. Dickman says a system now in place allows emergency room physicians to meet patients at the door, determine how sick they are, and funnel them to the right treatment area immediately hopefully reducing the chances of passing on the virus. I think that there is still time now. If there's people out there who still haven't gotten their flu vaccine, that's still important, go get your flu vaccine. There it was again, Bill, uh, advice to get that flu vaccine. Doctors also remind us that there are some antiviral medications out there that do work well against this strain of flu. Also, no doctor today was willing to say that we are, that this is an epidemic or a pandemic, although everyone does say there's no telling yet when this flu season may plateau.